and welcome back to Presenter Media. My name is Kara. Today we're taking a look at our Game Show Toolkit, item 6999 on PresenterMedia.com. You can see in the background here we do have the 10 panel board up and running. What I'm going to show you how to do is manipulate this particular interactive template to be able to suit your needs. So first let's go to our website and you can see where this item is. It's going to be underneath of our templates and if you just go ahead and type in the word interactive that's going to give you the easiest group of templates that we have that are going to include this guy. Notice it does say interactive above the template. And this indicates that the template is made to be able to have your input prior to having other actions take place. So we've downloaded this template now and opened it in PowerPoint. In our case, we're working in 2010. This template is available for all versions of PowerPoint 2003 and newer, regardless of what version you may have. So when we originally play this presentation, you can see the panels in the back, but when you click on them, the panels just disappear. The purpose of having the slide number one is so you'll be able to have a spot to put your answers in behind those panels. So the first step to do is to copy this group of items right here, the answers one through 10. You can do this by clicking anywhere on the outside of this box and it will select the entire group for you. You can right click and go down to copy or use control C if you prefer to use the keyboard shortcuts. Go to the next slide, which is slide number three that we're actually going to be working in. Go down to paste and select your first option, which is using the destination theme. Now you'll notice this comes in, but it covers up all of our original questions. So if you send that to the back, it'll allow all the questions to appear back in the front where they originally were. Now at this point, you're able to enter in whatever your questions are going to be. And then when you play the presentation, when you click on them, the answers are going to appear behind them. Now if you do want to put the answers in place, but you want to have them all filled out, you'll be changing them using slide number one. So slide number one, you're going to want to go in and change each of these items to whatever the answers you want them to be, and put them with their corresponding questions on slide number three. Next, we're going to use our wrong answer X's. Now this is going to be what you'll use for when people select one of the panels and you know that the answer is incorrect. To select the area that we need specifically, we're going to start by deleting the various text boxes because we don't need these. And next, we're going to go ahead and click on our home tab and go over to select selection pane. The selection pane is going to be all of the various elements within this slideshow, within this particular slide that is, that we're going to want to be able to copy and move on to another slide. So we've clicked all of these items while holding down our control button, so that does have everything selected. Press control C on your keyboard or right click and go to copy, then move down to the next slide which is the slide number three that we've been working in so far and again use that paste destination theme. Now you'll notice that you have all the X's in place. The reason it's important to do it this way is that when you select the incorrect X's, they'll be able to animate properly still. So to make them show that they're animating properly, we need to play our slideshow from this slide. By clicking on the boxes, the boxes will disappear but by clicking on the buttons at the bottom, we're going to have those X's appear. And notice that on the bottom, those X's are staying in place, even though they're just flashing on the screen. So you can continue working in your quiz on the screen. Let's go ahead and move our answers back into place. And now we have what your completed slideshow will look like. So you can see here we're selecting various answers, we'll say that someone gets it wrong, we'll select the X. And then you can click reset board, which this will not reset the scoring at the bottom, but it will reset all of the boxes so they come back into place so you can have your students go through and try these again. 
This template is available for anywhere from 10 panels all the way down to a single panel. We have taken the liberty of putting the X boxes in all of these spaces here. Something that is interesting and does take a little bit of time, but if you do want to change the colors on any of these boxes, you can actually do so by selecting the box and going to Picture Tools, Format, and Color. Now the top area of color is all going to be yellow effects, but the colors towards the bottom are going to give you your blues, your purples, your oranges, and so forth. So if you do want to change the color style of this, you are perfectly able to do that just by selecting these various shapes and like I said, applying that color format to them. Now if you do want to change the color format of the items in the background of this image or the actual answers, You'll want to go through your color formatter on your pictures, however keep in mind that as you change these, it's not just changing the borders, it's going to go ahead and change the entire image, so keep that in mind. This has been one of the advanced tutorials from Presenter Media showing you how to use the Game Show Toolkit. If you have any questions, please feel free to email us at support at presentermedia.com, call us at 605-274-2424, or just click the con contact us on our website at www.presentermedia.com. Again, my name is Kara with Presenter Media. Thanks for watching.